And I want to congratulate you guys <laughs> on Kaleidoscope. It's an entertaining and thrilling high thriller that's with an intriguing, intriguing setup, and I love it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. We're very excited yeah. for it to uh, to push off the show. <laughs> Oh, you're so welcome, Mr. Beginner Give me Mr. Jai. You, I, you are so unrecognizable. When I first met you, by the way, was I think it was di diverse. Yeah, divergent. Oh wow, yeah, it's going <laughs> back a few years now. A long, long time ago. <laughs> but it was so. I was so happy to see you as one of the cast. What got you interested in joining the cast of Kaleidoscope? Besides me. Uh, besides working with Rosaline El Bay, um, which I've been waiting for the opportunity to. <laughs> Ever since I did Divergent, in fact, all those years ago. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think being part of something that has a totally original concept and and um, you know, there look, there's some amazing talent behind this. Um, and I saw a chance to just be involved with something really cool and unique. And you know, you read this stuff early on, and you see how you know meticulously detailed and well crafted not only this plot is and all the kind of moving parts that fold into making a, a, a cool heist drama thriller, um, but also in the detail of these characters. It's a very human story, um, and I think it investigates in depth a lot of what they are all going through, what their motives are, how they found themselves at this point in their lives, and their struggle within all of that. Um, it's kind of like nothing is washed over. None of these characters are functional or two-dimensional um, and I think that's what's going to set it apart from stuff that might feel like it's in this genre um, and then you know add in the extra element of this sort of immersive experience that viewers are going to have when when watching it and uh, we got something pretty cool in our hands. You're absolutely correct like Bob you think was just like a hot-headed passionate you know but he's got a heart too. <laughs> Turns out he's incredibly complex and there's a little bit of Bob in all of us you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's a little bit of Bobby Nolan. Miss Rosaline, what about you? What attracted you to playing Judy? Well, besides, I mean, um, from the off, just everyone involved with this project is so passionate about it. Like, from, like, Eric Garcia, the showrunner, to all the writers, to the directors that I got to speak to um, at the beginning. And it was such an intriguing concept. But then kind of all of that aside and the experiment aside, the writing alone just... In it, like, just stood so well on its own merit. And Judy, as a character, was just someone that from the first time that I read the first script, um, I just kept thinking about. And you're not really supposed to do that. Like, you're supposed to, if you're auditioning for something or you're kind of in talks for something, you're supposed to, like, read it and then put it aside and not get attached because things might not work out. And, like, that's just how this job works. But I kept thinking about Judy. And the more that we talked about her and the more that I was called back, the more I wanted her. And, like, when you're trying to tell yourself and convince yourself that you're not that attached, but, like, you're waking up every day kind of thinking about it and, like, looking at your phone... Like, oh, I really, like, she was just someone that I really wanted to explore and had been crafted with a lot of love, I think. Like, I just felt like, like all the characters, like, they had been, there was a lot of investment in them as people, and they were all three-dimensional, and that's just, like, a really big gift for an actor. Exactly. So, Mr. Jai, when you heard that the series is going to go to the non-linear approach in storytelling, what did you think? Were you kind of like challenged? Were you afraid about yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, fortunately, there's people uh, much smarter than I who are in charge of, you know, shepherding that, you know, and 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 helping us guide guide us through the process. But it's it's weird. It's it's sort of like it created a few extra challenges for us, but not really in a way that, you know set us off kilter or made it kind of hard to achieve because there is a chronology, there is a through line that if you stay true to um, as an actor, as someone kind of preparing your role or whatever, you can, you know, generally have a handle on things. We kicked off with... We must have had them all available to us before we started, we right? We definitely did, yeah. um, But, you know, sort of leading into that, you know, I hadn't read it all before we were out there getting prepped. Some of it sort of the details came came kind of late. So for the, you know, we had a, a, a detailed idea of what was going to go down with everything, but but obviously hadn't seen every script by that point. But um, I don't know. Yeah, look, I think in the way that we're introduced in each episode and how each ep can serve as the first thing anyone sees, there's a little more care that needs to be taken with, you know, how you kind of present that character off the bat. But I think most of the heavy lifting was done in, in the wonderful writing and and actually made it pretty easy for us to just embrace the concept and 
and roll with it as we would anything else. Exactly, because you know what? I started with blue and then I did, did a different color, yellow, but mm. they all still make sense. So yeah, sure. I totally, totally, totally agree with you guys. A big congrats on Kaleidoscope again, a smart heist thriller. That's more than just the crime, and I love it. Thanks, Thank Manny. Thank you so much. Good, good luck guys. after your flight. <laughs> <laughs>